Look at that bicep vein, that one's so bad. <clears throat> oh, that old thing? That old thing? <laughs> That's my favorite tricep exercise, hands down. Mm -hmm. What's up, y'all? We're gonna show you some, uh, some chest exercises today, but the difference is now it's gonna be on machines. A lot of people neglect the machines because they wanna get on the free weights, and I get that. I use free weights more than anything. But see, with the machines, you don't got to worry about balancing. Um, the form is kind of already set in. So all you got to worry about is contracting the muscle, the muscle and pushing the weight. Jay Cutler, four time Mr. Olympia, only used machines. Uh, he switched over to free weights after he got his ass kicked by Ronnie Coleman over and over, but it didn't really do him any good because Ronnie Coleman just had better genetics. So we're going to show you what machines to use and how to get the most out of them. So first, we have the free motion, free motion chest press. It's just like a normal chest press, except this moves. So it's more like using dumbbells. You still have to balance, but not nearly as much as you would with the dumbbells. You don't gotta worry about trying to get out of it or dropping the weights or trying to sit up. Um, and as soon as you finish whatever you're doing, you can do a drop set and lower the weight 30 pounds and burn out, something like that. So you have more you can do with machines. I mean, I guess, I don't know, that, that goes back and forth, but um, machines have their place 100% and they're definitely gonna allow you to overload the muscle without having to worry about all the balance that comes with getting on a bench press. Like if you're doing legs, doing a squat. I mean, on a squat machine, I could push a ton of weight, really kill it. I mean, I feel it in my knees the next day because I'm hitting so much weight but on a normal back squat, I can't push the weight like I want to because I got to worry about my form and my balance and I see one foot's off here to a little bit. So uh, hitting the machines, a lot less complication and it's just kill it, pure and simple. Now see, I'm big on the time under tension um there he goes my dog <laughs> caught it nice and easy two seconds this way four seconds back that's the majority of my exercises um and you know i have days where i do explosive and i have days where i do almost all negatives but uh for the majority man we want time under tension nice and slow like that that's gonna make it burn and nice with too, less a little bit less weight too huh nice and get bigger yeah that you muscle feel, stimulation. You feel a lot deeper too. Yeah. You do like a regular set and you'll like you'll feel it, you know, outside of your chest and stuff like you normally would, but when you do it like this, like you're feeling the burn during your sets. Because you're under tension for so long that yes. you're gonna start feeling the fatigue like during your workout, not like And you're utilizing your, your eccentric a lot more because you have the four second part. And um, so that's gonna that's why I get a, a strong burn, I'm sure, because I'm not just going to where I fail I'm failing concentrically. Um, I'm also failing where I'm going eccentric and that is like 30% of your strength. Yeah. So you'll fail way before concentrically than you will eccentrically. Yeah. And that means you still got power left in your muscles. Mm -hmm. Bam! It's all you, sir. <sighs> Big man. <laughs> 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 I said the two second uh, contraction takes out all the momentum. If it takes you two seconds to push it out, it's because you're not shoving it out there. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, when you use momentum, that means like a third of the movement is used with, uh, you know, just just pretty much, uh, how do you say that, man? We're well, not even pushing it. Like you're not yeah. actually, you, you reduce the weight when you use momentum mm -hmm. for about a third of the movement because the momentum carrying it um, a little extra distance. Yeah. There's enough spring in your muscles where you can like bounce it with pretty much anything. Exactly right. Yeah. It's like the guy goes to the bench press and 
bounce it off his chest so hard, I'm pretty sure he's gonna break a rib. Yeah. Just so we can get the weight up. <laughs> oh man, that's a killer right there. What's the next one? What else we got around here? Let's see. Machine chest. Machine chest. Are you looking for upper chest or lower chest? Upper chest. Upper chest? Yep. Let's bring them back. To the good old days. Right. When living was easy. Exactly. Alright, to the we, fly machine. I so we can do flies and we got those two press machines too. We're gonna show them the fly machine. Okay. Oh, you start? Yeah. Oh, it's just like the first video, y'all. Remember the first video? <laughs> um, uh, oh, oh, upper chest. <laughs> oh. All right, so we're going to do flies that. now. But see, to hit the upper chest, we're going to hold it up here. That's going to put your arms at this kind of angle. Um, so you get the horizontal adduction with the... I said something like that. I'm yeah, trying to. Did. Yeah, no, I said that on the first video. Um, <laughs> but see, if your arms are right here, you're hitting mostly uh, the middle chest, lower chest. When you raise your arms like this, you hit the upper chest. Normally, it wouldn't matter so much. And if you do, say, bench press or uh, not that, let's say, let's say biceps. You got two heads on your biceps. When you curl, you hit both heads. You can't help it because. Although it is two different heads, it's still one muscle and they're used for a very similar movement. They both are activated when you go up like this. And see, when you do bench press, your chest is one of the only muscles that has different uh, neuromuscular connections. Feel me? All right. So middle chest and lower chest are activated at the same time. Upper chest is activated uh, sort of separately. So although it is one muscle, the whole muscle doesn't contract when you are doing a bench press or an upper chest. So if you're doing upper chest, your upper fibers are, con are contracting, middle chest is still contracting but not nearly as much. So to hit the upper chest, we're going to raise our hands up here. That's good. A little higher. Okay. That's it. All right. So that way the angle of pull is coming from the clavicle up here. To work any muscle, any fibers, the way to hit it is that the angle of pull has to be in line. So, say we're going for upper fibers, you want to you'd be contracting it like this. Try not to get squished. <laughs> and if you're going for lower fibers, it's like this, you would be coming down. It's just like a, um, it's like a, like tug of, tug of rope, is that what they say? Tug of, tug, of, tug of War? Tug of War. Tug of War, tug of war. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I ain't been five <laughs> years old in a little bit, of, little bit of time. So, if I'm trying to move this arm over here, I got to pull it like this. If I'm trying to move it over here, I got to pull it like this. So, just like with the, with the muscles, if you're trying to work up here, you go like that. If you're trying to work down here, whoop, bam, just like that. Clear as mud, pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay. Cool. cool. Yeah. Go hit it. Fuck yeah, I want to hit it. Got the spirit. Fuck yeah. Ah. Uh, oh. Okay, making sure you ain't got me too far back here. Nah, nah, I'm keeping it one. Okay. <clears throat> nice and slow. Another way to kind of focus mostly on chest and prevent the deltoids from kicking in is to turn your hands a little bit like that. Like so. Like you're about to chop somebody's neck. That's right. Like <laughs> you're trying to double chop at the neck. This is a Bruce Lee move from what I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's right. Chop their head straight off. Mm -hmm. I've seen a man do it. <sighs> You do it like this. Ooh, 
I feel my delta as soon as I do that. Yeah. So. That one? Yeah, upper I, chest press. Because it's easy, I think, you can find a chest press anywhere. Um, but to hit upper chest on machines is kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, we happen to have incline chest press. I think we'll show them one more. Because uh, chest presses, man, everybody's got one, but not everybody's got an incline chest press. Yeah. Everybody's got a fly machine, but this is how you make the machine work the way you need it to work. Yeah. Feel me? I feel you. All right. Want me to do it? Yes. <laughs> ah. Another good thing about machines is they make the range of motion not so dangerous. So like with dumbbells, especially my, my flexible dog here, would be going <laughs> like way back here. But if he goes any further than right here, you know, perpendicular to the body, uh, the weights touch yeah. and there's no more weight. So it makes you have correct form and have a good range of motion and not, you know, potentially hurt yourself. Yeah. Machines are made to where like your range of motion is hitting what, it, what it's designed to hit. Yes. I, would, I always feel like if I go lower, I'm always going to get a full range of motion, but it's not always the case. Um, well, see, the thing about that is your pecs like stretch, mm -hmm. reach maximum uh, length or whatever, like right around here. Mm -hmm. And so any more than that has no benefit to it. Um, other than, well, it's not a benefit, but you might tear that shit is yeah. what I'm getting at. Um, well, so, that's what with flies, like, people do like lightweight flies, but they go all the way down like that. Yes. And I had someone teach me that when you do flies, you can go heavy on this one, but it's more like a press. But when you go down, keep your arms a little wide, Yeah. but not, you know, you're not going out like that, so you're not stressing the shoulder, but you're doing this and you're still, you're still, you know, um, expanding the muscle yes. as much as it needs to be. And you're still doing a fly, it's just not as dramatic as... It's like a wide grip bench press. Yeah. Um, and because your elbow's bent, you're not putting as much stress on the anterior deltoid. If you're yeah. way out here, then the only thing that's receiving more tension is your shoulder. Mm -hmm. uh, so right here, you have a little bit more leverage for the chest, but you can just put more weight on. Yeah. And you're not adding the weight onto your shoulder. Okay. Oh, my shoulder's hurt. We gotta come up with a clickbait. Oh, yeah. Ian, move. moving the camera, Ian. All right. <sighs> nah, I ain't about that. <laughs> How about you just pretend like you're screaming? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's, that's how they do it. <laughs> For real. They damn sure do, too. That's, that's clickbait right there. That, that's trick of the trade. <laughs> yeah, we can't... Uh, we can't show y'all everything. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna teach you that though. <laughs> I got like five pounds on there. <laughs> oh, do do the same thing next time. Just do that and like you'll see me in the background and be like this. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just weird them out. They'll be like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Like, what like, the fuck am I watching? Click on this shit. <laughs> I'm looking at this whole city fitness. We gotta do one more. Yeah, yeah. I thought Tim showed back up. All right, something semi unique. Upper center. What you got? What you got? I see you think about something. Uh, everywhere. A let's lot bring it back. Do, let's bring it back. Huh? Yeah. I don't know. We're trying to do like close grip dumbbell press, but they'll do it flat. But if you do an incline, you can be making sure you hit that upper chest, upper center. That's true. Only thing is, it's my only concern now. Mm -hmm. We said we were working on machines. Ah, true, true. We yeah, that. that's yeah, why I felt that. I felt hindered Rocks. in my decisions. Um. Do you think we could do something similar with that machine? Because there's that, uh, there is the neutral grip section up there on the, uh, you talking about? the chest press there, sitting, seated chest press. Seated chest press. Neutral so like, grip. Oh! Yeah, something like that can work. Yeah. Good. How do we go for Yeah. Let's work that out like that. Yeah. Scoochie man, the plow. Like that? Uh-huh. All right, cool, cool.
Because usually um, when Harry and I would hit it, what we would do is we would actually bump it down a little lower. And what we would do is we'd do 10 reps. 10 reps from the lower, mm -hmm. the lower grip. 10 reps from here. Yep. 10 reps from here. Oh, that's break. wonderful. Yeah, I like that. And we do, yeah, same thing, four sets. Make good stuff. Yeah, and every time, though, every time you would start with a different. Well, not everybody has this. Group. Yeah, that's true. True. Um, most people have at least this and, and a that. neutral, yeah. Um, what's good about this right here is it puts your hands in a neutral position. That takes stress off the shoulders. So, like for myself, if I'm trying, if my number one concern is sh shoulder safety, maybe uh, my shoulders hurt. I did back yesterday, mm -hmm. and when I do back, I hit my shoulders a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'll press, <clears throat> I could press dumbbells or whatever. Just like this, and that's going to be a lot easier. It put a little more weight on the triceps, but I mean that's not a bad thing, and uh, it'll spare your shoulders a little better. Mm -hmm. Not everybody has to do that. I'm just one of those people who has a fucked up shoulder, and I got to be careful with it. So, if you have a bad shoulder, hit it with the neutral grip. But like he was explaining, um, the lower your hands are going to be, the lower work it's going to be on the chest, as in like the lower area it's going to hit on the chest. And so if your hands are way up here, you're going to be hitting more of the upper chest. Okay, I'll show you guys that real quick. Go a little higher. So on, each, on one machine, you can hit the entire uh, chest, upper fibers, middle fibers, and lower fibers, depending on where you place your hands. Yeah. It's all about, like I said, the angle of pull. So if you go this way, bam, go this way, bam, go that way, <clears throat> bam. Feel me? Feel you. Feel me. Okay, good. Huh? Yeah? <laughs> I don't know what the <laughs> no. fuck you just said, man. <laughs> That's what you do when you want me to wrap it up. You're like, and I'm like, oh, you want me to wrap it up? And you go, oh, why do you say that? It's supposed to be secretive. Hey, man, <laughs> y'all come check us out, swolecityfitness.com. Stay hungry. Hungry. <sighs> That's about it about it anyways I couldn't That's think of nothing else to show them yeah I'm out of ideas honestly man <laughs>